Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanna review some cables for KS0 Pro that I use and what I can recommend and what to do or not to do and also potential risk on your connection. So basically, I use uh, this XT60 to barrel connector, five and a half millimeter by two and a half millimeter. And this barrel connector designed to hold 10 amp load. Now, typically you don't want to overload 80% of this barrel connector, which means it's only eight amp. You want to constantly load on this barrel connector. Uh, although the wire is pretty solid, it looks like a 16 gauge wire. The XT60 connector designed to hold uh, 60 amp max, 30 amp load all the time. So there's no issue with this connector. However, barrel connector cannot hold um, for a long period of time, more than eight amp loads. Now, especially when we connect to X, um, KS0 Pros, we, we get an overclocked. These barrel connectors uh, become an issue because you can get your um, plastic there melted inside because of the internal part of the, inside the KS0 Pro has a little tiny wire which heats up and hits the middle of that barrel connector pin right over there you could see that and it gets stuck right in your plastic here so that's the main issue there and when you try to pull this out you're basically pulling the whole pin out of your um, board barrel connector and damage your uh, connector basically permanently because you can't fix that anymore now um, so when i use this cable uh, i just trying to be really careful obviously i'm tr i'm using it on my uh, fan on my power side right so where i have power connected to my uh, ks0 pro the air always blowing towards the power side and helps cooling down that uh, that barrel connectors it still potentially can overheat so there is a lot of risk with that so make sure when you have these barrel connectors you understand that because a lot of people just thinking like okay well the wire is big enough so i should be okay or they buying the metal connectors uh, looking like a metal part not the plastic here but this is not the real issue there if you even get a metal part here it doesn't mean the inside you still have this little plastic um, it's almost like the electrical uh, separator right so it's still made of plastic i don't know if they have ceramic but uh, i don't think they do that's the main problem here so keep that in mind uh, i'll show you how i built my connectors for just a barrel connector what I use is two options is I have this uh, PCIe cables from my GPU bunch of these guys looks just like that or I'll show you a couple of these where I have this kind which about the same they're all 16 gauge wires now why I use 16 gauge wire it's not the problem of holding the amps um, on the 18 gauge wire what happens is basically you could get something like that the main reason for that is those wires start heating up at the connector and creating this burn down effect here and it separates the wire eventually out of the connector just it's expands so much and heats up at the connector just right there so keep that in mind don't use 18 gauge at all uh, i don't recommend just for that specific uh, issue that it will create now when you use the 16 gauge wire okay so it's totally fine for the wire size to hold up the, up to even 15 amp no problem if you look for the low voltage chart even single pair can hold up 16 gauge can hold up easily um, at the two feet if we look uh, low voltage wiring right 16 gauge two feet can hold up to 20 amps so if we load even at 80 percent it's a 15 amp continuous we can load that wire in no issue right so since there is a three wires at each connector i think it's totally safe at the pcie connector here to connect at 15 amp the real issue is the barrel connector so we can't uh, help that connector what I do when I overclock, I simply solder 
uh, 14 gauge silicon wire with my XT60 on one end and I connect the other end just to the basically to my uh, mate PCIe to XT60 connector, right? That's the best way to do it. There is nothing overheats when you do that. Now, if you decide still using barrel connector and not overclock, so there's a couple options how to do this um, cable. The way I do it, I simply just solder uh, my PCIe cable. I can cut on two, so I'll have two wires in this from one PCIe 24 inches, right? So you can make two wires out of it. Basically, I cut it here, splice it to, I'll show you guys right from one cable what I do. So I make it halfway, just like this, and I cut it right in the middle, approximately, right? Just trying to keep all these wires uh, pretty similar distance, so they're about the same lengths all the time, right? So there's same load on the 12 volt, especially on the low voltage 12 volt system. It's very important to keep cables um, as close size as possible. All, all three of them at the same length as well, right? So, and then I will make the connector uh, right there at the other end. I'll just clean this up and I'll clean the end. So now we're gonna have two options there. One is solder. Uh, this wire to this XT60 connector, simply all three of them, put it together and solder just like that. What I do on the other connectors, I'll show you right there. All it is is just you have to twist them together, cut them short and solder. So it's not really hard to do, uh, but I have the other option for you. If you don't like soldering, all you gotta do is just clean your cables just like that and get quick connectors just like this. So those connectors designed to hold 30 amp, so you can safely load them probably at um, 24 amp all the time, 20 for the continuous load. And this sold on Amazon already pre-made with the silicon wire about six inches long. I'll post link down below, so this is really easy way to create this cable without any soldering if you don't like to use soldering gun or you don't have one or you don't want to mess with that so all you do you just clean your ends right there all three of them and twist all your negative together it's a very simple uh, way of doing it just twist them together and twist the positives together right so when you do that, and the next step would be you would connect your uh, each ends all the way inside there to this quick connect and make sure they hold together tight. So all your yellows are positive side, gonna be on the positive side and all the blocks on the negative side. not easy to fit them all through to make a solid connection you could see that right so they pull out pretty easily so the wire is pretty thick when you have all three of them together one more try so you have to really twist that and make just like that connection right so then we do the negative side Similar way, all the way in, push in just like that, and here's your negative and positive side. So when it comes to the XT60 side, you do the same thing. You just open both ends, and your positive is the red side goes in with the yellow, yellow side, and the negative goes with the black side. You just push all the way in and lock it. Then you make sure it's connected strong, so there is no loose connection, there is nothing sticking out there at the connector that could potentially do shorts. And then you can actually even tape this over if you worry about the, any exposed wiring here. You can just use electrical tape. So, and here's your cable ready to go. All you gotta do is just get 
a pre-made cable that's also sold on Amazon barrel connector to XT60 and your wiring for KS0 Pro is pretty much ready to go from your uh, power supply from your server PSU to your minor uh, KS0 Pro right so that's a simple way of doing it now again keep in mind this is a good connection only for not overclocked uh, the factory firmware load is about 7.8 amps i think because it's about 83 watts on 12 volt you're gonna make something below 8 amp like as soon as you start overclocking you are only loading this side um, so that's where the heat gonna come through um, none of these connectors usually affected so there are no heat here when i tested there is nothing heats obviously on the 60 xt60 because it's, it's designed to hold a lot more amps and the 14 gauge wire typically okay uh, because silicone wire can hold up a lot more load so your barrel connector is going to be the main issue so keep that in mind and stay safe don't uh, don't damage your device if you decide to overclock and permanently do that i strongly recommend uh, basically just soldering unless you're using the uh, 19 volt system but if you use you, you still want to use 12 volt just solder that to the i have another video where i solder this directly to board and use your another connector to connect to your uh, server psu so that's the that's going to be a simple way of doing it there is another um, actually this is a female you use the male connectors they sold on amazon ready made you don't have nothing to do there's six inches wire or you can make your own wire you can use 12 gauge cable if you worry about the size of the 14 uh, 14 gauge but 14 totally works fine for me i tried 12 gauge on one of the ks0 pro there's not much difference you can still use that as well so uh, if you like i could post the video i actually tested this uh, wires under load and i can show you guys how crazy it hits up there at the connector 18 gauge when you load it over uh, 15 amp and just barely making it so yeah make sure not to use 18 gauge um, not do not recommend that do not overload your barrel connectors that's very important too uh, i know veteran miners makes a great cables that you basically it's the same thing you just eliminate whole entire mess of this multiple connection right all you gotta have instead of creating this connector uh, secondary connector you'll have just the two cables nicely connected to your barrel connector from PCIe uh, which makes the cable a lot cleaner uh, I don't have that cable to show you but uh, here you go you just know how to create your uh, cable if you're trying to put on the server PSU and use your KS0 Pro multiple KS0 Pro out of the server PSU so stay tuned uh, if you'd like to test in on that cable again this test I can pause that video and show you how you can melt this cable easily on your uh, loads all right guys that's it for this video thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one